Okay, a little video then for this uh, TSO that's arrived. And this is a PR100 um, Saphir, S A P H I S A P H I R. And I thought I'd do a little video of it because it's quite an interesting little watch. This it's um, only 36.4 case width with uh, 39, I believe, on the uh, no 36 with the crown. Um, it's only 40 millimeters lug to lug in that distance from or height, as it were. Uh, the width is pretty narrow as well. It's 7.6 uh, millimeters, so it wears very flat. It's quite a weight as well. It's got a good construction. I've just put a new battery in there. Uh, I assume it's a sapphire crystal because the crystal looks really quite clean. And it's got an interesting dial. Now, I know the PRX is all the rage at the moment, which is uh, the automatic's got the uh, waffle dial. And I assume that's what could be described as waffle or hobnail with printed PR100 at the bottom there. Sapphire. So, and it's seven jewels inside. Obviously, there's a gold bezel, but it's looking a little bit worse for wear. But it's not too bad. It's quite a presentable used watch, this. Um, but you can feel it's got some weight to it. It's got a signed crown. The back's been off quite a few times, I imagine, because it was quite uh, marked up with a few bodged uh, case removal tools. But uh, it's on there pretty tight. I wouldn't know about the water resistance now because obviously it's uh, never been pressure checked. But uh, the crown is quite stiff to turn. If you want to turn it for 12 hours, it's, uh, it's a little bit stiff. But anyway, it seems to be ticking along quite nicely as it stands there. So that crystal is pretty clean. I've looked under it under the mag magnifier and it uh, all looks pretty nice. Anyway, used Tiso watch, seven jewels. Bracelet, well, it's quite lightweight. It does have gold uh, beads of rice type effect on the inside. On the outer side, it's, uh, well, it looks pretty good. And the bracelet itself, the clasp, it's just a standard Jubilee, but plenty of micro adjust on there. I think this looks like it's going to be about 19, 20 centimeters on the wrist. I will measure it. But uh, one, two, three, four, five, six micro adjusts there. Smashing job. Grand Seiko, eat your heart out. PR Saffir on that clasp. The clasp is fairly cheap, really, to be fair. And the bracelet, nothing feels overweight on there, but that really doesn't matter too much because it suits the watch quite nicely. Um, what are we at the top? 18, so 19 at the top, narrowing down to 16, just under 16, and uh, a clasp 14, and uh, 17, 17 on there. Sorry, that's uh, just some measurements for you. I think that's a pretty nice little watch, that. But, um, I'm going to put it all back together again with its uh, end links. Which are uh, pretty okay. A couple of them and the spring bars look good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.